In our previous videos, we've gone over the chat section in Microsoft Teams, or more specifically, the chat section for private chats or private group chats. In this video, we'll still be talking about chatting, but this time it'll be chatting in a team and not chatting in a private chat. Although very similar in their structure and features, there is one key difference, and that difference is the channel conversation. Channel conversations are meant to provide some organizations to your team chat, since there's probably going to be multiple topics that you'll be discussing at the same time. Maybe there's different sales proposals that are going out and your team needs to discuss each one individually. The channel conversations help keeps these topics separate. With a channel conversation, you're given the opportunity to either reply to an existing conversation or to start a new conversation. Although it's an easy concept to understand, in practice, it may take you a few times until people use it correctly. Let me show you. So here we have an existing conversation. The correct thing to do if I wanna to contribute to this conversation is click the reply button at the bottom of the chat window. If I wanna start a new conversation, then I'll just go to the default text box, like you would with the normal private chat. If you're brand new to Microsoft Teams and would like a little bit more help, we do offer a free basic course called Teams Essentials. You can register for it at the link below or you can just go to protectedtrust.com.